around people wherever you roam. And admit that the waters around you have grown and accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone for the time. Changing. You bet your ass they're changing. Ah, breaking news, breaking news. Seriously breaking news, my God. Marcus Conti reporting on the breaking news. AOC, uh, Alacasia, Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Talib, and Ilhan Omar have endorsed Bernie Sanders for President of the United States. Breaking news, all of them. All three. <laughs> you talk about the game changer, man. See, this is what this is what uh, spirit looks like. This is what payback looks like, right? These Bernie Sanders, none of those asses, none of them three asses, and the other one, Elvis, none of them would be in their position. None of them would be Congress women if it wasn't for Bernie Sanders, right? Alessandro Ocasio Cortez worked on Bernie Sanders' campaign in 2016, and she was drafted by Justice Democrats to run for Congress. And now, this is big, because this, this has to affect the, the mind stream. It has to, because Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez is a rock star. They're so big right now. So uh, whether you like them or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just, if the fact is, it's happening. So Newsweek is reporting Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez, Ilan Omar, and Rashida Tlaib, who reportedly endorsed Bernie Sanders for president. Now, Bernie Sanders at the um, debate last night said that he will have a guest speaker in his rally here in Queens, New York on Saturday. Fucking, I, you know, I have, I'm not going to be there. Man. I'm so disappointed. Like, I made plans. I didn't know... Bernie was going to speak in Queens, New York. So I'll be somewhere else, but uh, very interesting somewhere else. So so anyway, but Democratic, so Bernie Sanders, Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez will be on stage with Bernie Sanders on Saturday here in, Qu- in Queens, New York, a few miles away, and she will full-throatedly endorse Bernie Sanders for President of the United States 2020. Now that's some shit right there. So Democratic Congresswoman Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez, Ilhan Omar, and Rashida Tlaib, three of the most influential voices among young progressive liberals, will all reportedly endorse Bernie Sanders in 2020 presidency bid for presidency. Not, not in six months from now, right fucking now when it matters. That's when they're doing the endorsement. See, this is what, instead of... Uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren standing on the stage competing with Bernie Sanders, she should have elevated him in this run as she should have done in 2016. Same for, for uh, uh, Miss uh, Tulsi Gabbard. She should have done the same thing. Don't, why are you running against the guy that, that is uh, essentially the, the, uh, the founder of all these policies? Why are you running against him? Why not elevate him and run with him? Right? Run, run for him. Ah, see, that's what that's the that's the dynamic change here. This is big, this is big shit right here. I'm telling you. In an article published Tuesday night, uh, Washington Post reported that two unnamed sources and with knowledge of the plan, Acasio, 30 year old Acasio Cortez, will uh, appear at a rally to announce the surprise endorsement during the fourth Democratic debate on Tuesday. Sanders revealed that a special guest would join him in New York. So we know who it is. It's a done deal. Uh, done deal. Bernie Sanders to be endorsed. Asal- Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez. Influential voices among young liberals, right? Everybody's going to fall in line, I'm telling you. This is, this is big. This is, the, this is the great leap forward Bernie Sanders was uh, in need of, right? Because all this division, all this diffusion that the Democrat, that the DNC is doing to diffuse the float, to have 12 idiots on stage all talking at the same time, right? All talking about Bernie Sanders' policies as if they own them, right? Now, this is a dynamic shift. Because, again, these, these people have, these have, Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez, like her or not, is a firebrand, is a, has rock star 
status in the liberal progressive wing. So this could, again, the, I believe the polls are fake. I think they're rigged. Um, but, I mean, I don't see how, how Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez, an AOC endorsement for Bernie Sanders at this stage in the game, all three of these progressive uh, voices, how it doesn't affect the polling. How, if it doesn't, then you know for certain that it's rigged. And it's going to eat into to Elizabeth Warren's um, uh, uh, crowd as well because all those young women liberals, right, they love Alessandro Costa cortez They love Rashida Tlaib. Now, they're all turning and endorsing fucking Bernie Sanders. God damn it. God damn it. That's such good news, man. It's such good news. So uh, Marcus Conti reporting.